Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Don't forget, if you like the video, click on like and subscribe and talk about it on chat lines, wherever it is your social media activities and help us to grow and help more people. I'll talk to you soon. That there is something other than, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. So hopefully this conversation was helpful to you to bring to your attention that what you're all about it's something that neither your brain nor any other part of you can reach. It's beyond the reach of all the apparatuses and the fragments of your existence, physically or materialistically, uh, as part of your brain. What configures you is who you are, and who you are is not material. It's not defined by the process of the brain, it's not defined by thoughts that show up in the head. It's not defined by other people's utterings. It's not defined by other people's opinions. And it's not defined by the brain's opinions, suggestions, images, or thoughts. It is defined by your values. It is defined by your identity. It is defined by your preferences. It is defined by your inner understanding of who you are and how you're put together. It is defined by what's meaningful to you, your lifestyle, your gender, your identity. It's defined by your vetoes and your choices. In the scientific experiments that we talked about in these segments, you're now well aware of the advanced science and how they have proven that the brain cannot change your consciousness, your intellect, your awareness and the brain is not the intellect. Your identity doesn't have a place in the brain for it to be manipulated or changed or modified by a mere suggestion or a thought, whether it's coming from people out there for one reason or another, that they want to utter something negative or something different than what you are based on whatever it is that they're interested or whatever it is that they are intending nor by any thought that comes from the process of the brain, a material process. What you are is defined by your values, what's sacred to you, what you hold sacred, your values, what's meaningful to you, your lifestyle, your inclination, your gender, your identity, your preferences, your faith if you have one. This is what defines you, not a thought of the brain. In fact, you're beyond the brain and you know it. Brain is not you, you're not the brain, and what brain conjures up thoughts can never be you or have anything to do with changing you, modifying you. It can annoy you. It can suggest all kinds of things like other people's utterings could annoy you with their manners, bad behavior, bad words. Words have meanings and could annoy you, confuse you or distract you or manipulate you. But it cannot change you. And you can simply correct that by relying on your values, identity, your power of choices, and veto. And that's where the intellect is, and that's where you are. You're a separate system than the brain, you're a separate system than your intestine. And the brain is no different than any other part of you, the intestine. It has a mandate to attend to, but it's not a deity, it's not defining you, it's not explaining you, it just does what it does, which is a spawn from negativity to protect you, and that's what it does. And when it goes rogue and you have OCD, it just goes beyond even trying to do its job. And that is when your veto and choices come into the picture to rescue, to bring you to focus on what you're all about, put you on the right path that you've always been, you want to be, you prefer to be, and you want to continue your journey in life on that path. Focus on your identity. Focus on your sacred values. Focus what's meaningful to you. Focus on your lifestyle. Focus on your preferences. Focus on your vetoes and choices. That's what defines you, not thoughts or suggestions. I hope this was helpful to you. Live your life free and based on your vetoes and choices and not suggestions or thoughts. Talk to you soon.